It may not be a new mod, but we can now change anything with changeable colors to cloth colors. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. We got new mods for you today. A couple updates, a couple new mods, some for PC, some for console. Uh, we've got one for PC in particular that allows us to make feed for different animals, which is really cool. Got a couple updates for you as well. And with the new patch 1.5, we can now change anything with the changeable colors to class colors. Let's check it out. First up today, new mods for all platforms, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC, and Mac. This is the Lizard Silo Roll 3000, or Cyroll, sorry, not Silo Roll, Cyroll 3000. This is just a compactuate that you can use when doing silage. The weird part is it's not in levelers like literally everything else is. This can actually be found in miscellaneous, which is very interesting. Also, when going through, you don't have to keep clicking over to go faster anymore. You just sit there and hold it. How cool is that? We'll be doing a whole video on this uh, update later on. But there you go, 2,000 kilograms. So it's not crazy heavy, but it's heavy enough to get around and do what you need to do three meters wide. It's gonna cost you $3,400 no other customization. Next, we have the Cote Grand Chisel Plow. Now, this is interesting, and I'll explain why, but first up, let's take a look at it in the store. Where are you gonna find this? Well, this is actually going to be found in subsoilers. Yep, subsoilers. Pop over to it, there it is, $3,900. Has a 2.5 meter working width and seven miles per hour. 60 horsepower required. There's nothing else you could do to it. Now, the interesting thing is, is it's got a well let me just show you we're gonna plop it down and hire a worker and let them do the thing it's leaving space in the middle sup with that now i did it over there in the corn too i don't know if, i don't even know where it is anymore over there i think this is going to be useful for guys who want to make tram lines but don't want to run through and just destroy their crop I think this is going to be extremely helpful. Maybe when you guys are doing spraying, something like that, maybe stick your sprayer on the front and then take this guy, put it on the back. Boom. Perfect. Actually, will it go backwards? Yo, maybe we'll find out and see. Let's try it out. Let's put it down and go backwards and see if it works. But I think that's what this is going to be useful for is doing tram lines. And one thing I am interested about is to see what the worker's gonna do. What is the worker gonna do here? I'm interested. Maybe they overlap, maybe they don't. It appears that they are gonna overlap, I think. I'm about to find out. Uh, kinda. Not really. Worker's not doing a great job with this, are they? I, I understand what it's for, I understand that it's for like deep subsoiling, you know, breaking up the ground and that kind of thing. But it's not working like that in the game. So it's not going to work like that. All right. So going backwards doesn't work. Going forwards does work. So just keep that in mind. Again, I think this is going to be great for making your own tram lines. It doesn't say anything in the description about what it's for, but nonetheless, there you go. There's your Kodak Grant Chisel Plow. Next, we've got quite an interesting mod for you. This is the Shadow Orf. There's no other information, but it is a water trigger. So just keep that in mind. It's also got something happening at the top. Not sure what that is, but nonetheless, we have the Shadow Orf right here. It is a water trigger. Where are you going to find this? Well, this is going to be found in placeables in miscellaneous and thanks to the new update we can fly through here and here it is on the far left hand side three thousand dollars cost you five bucks a day the water station can supply water tanks for fresh water you can put this again wherever you'd like as long as you got placeable for it we've decided to put it right there it will put down this little patch of grass and some mud so do keep that in mind well we've got ourselves a nice cloth colored d d754 pack so we're gonna back this up. We've got the water trans or water tank on the back. It says start filling. So we're gonna start filling and we get free water from it. So very cool. You do not have to pay for the water that comes from this placeable. I like that. Feels damn relatively slow, but nonetheless works perfect. Next up, we have a new classic windmill mod. This is just titled windmill in the store. Let's check this out. 
where you're going to find, of course, placeables in miscellaneous, and it will be near the very end. Right here it is, right in between two mods that we've gotten before, the wind energy converter and the water station. Boom, right in the middle. Hungarian manufacturing. Very cool. Let's click on it. $25,000. Boom. There's not a whole lot we can do with it. Just place it. That is it. We can turn it, however, so that is good. One thing to keep in mind with this. So we've got a competitor next to it. We have the wind energy converter. $23,000, $25,000, dollars per hour, $20 per hour. However, the one on the right, $5 per day. The one on the left, $50 per day. So you could choose which one of these you like. They both look really good. To be honest with you, if you're using stuff like this, I think looks are the primary concern anyway. Unless you're like me and you're like, I just need money now. Go, 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 go. Let's put down 30. There you go. There is the windmill. Moving into mod updates now for all platforms. This is the FarmTech Duras 2000. Change log 1.5. Added a grain door on the back door. Added new tires and a new store image. So if you guys are using this, make sure you change it up. We've got the new tires installed now. And of course, we do have a new grain door on the back so you can choose whether you want to do one or the other. I like it. And your last update today for all platforms, this is the Man TGS 41500 IT Runner Truck. Change log 1.1 on this guy right here. The collision mask has been fixed, and the mod desk version has been updated to the latest version. So that is cool, and... We can do it all class colors. What up? New mods for PC and Mac today. We have two new mods and one update, but the two new mods actually go hand in hand. They're kind of like the global company mods. They're just make it the same mod, please. <laughs> Put them together. What we've got here is we have the Kinsey Example Mill. Now, I was thinking this was going to be some type of planter or cedar. However, it is not. This is something that you can take corn and make CC Imrar, whatever that is, but it could be turned into pig food, which is really cool. So what we could take this, and we've got a little tank of Lupercil right here. Now, of course, I've got this showing off over here. We're gonna take a look at that in a second. But what this does is you take corn, put it in there, you put the Lupercil in there, which is a, uh, a type of liquid, which is available with this mod. It is, or can be found in here. Rather, let's take a look at both of these. The first one is going to be the Kinsey Example Mill. It will be in auger wagons, and it's going to be just past the other ones. Boom, right here, CCM Mill, right there. $39,000, 180 horsepower required, holds 31,000 liters, and you can do corn and Lupercil in here. Again, add Lupercil to gain more yield. I'll explain that. Boom, right in here, change the uh, rims up, or the wheels, rather, tires. Boom, to a uh, more of a Michelin and more of like a thick little trailer board kind of thing it is they're both michelin uh, so let's pop out and then looper sale what is it where is it not exactly sure what it is but i know where it is <laughs> we just passed it here it is looper sale tank eight thousand dollars i know it seems like a lot but it's worth it and holds two thousand liters you get about four uses out of this if you do a full use so let's pop over here and let's take a look we've already got some corn in here and we of course have our voucher right here that is in Let's go ahead and pull up all of our help windows so you see exactly what's going on. Let's fill up with Lupercil. We have some, but we're going to fill up with more. There we go. We are all full with it. And now what I've got to do is I've got to take this. We've got 30,000 liters of corn and 1,000 liters of Lupercil. We're going to go over here and we're going to put this in the back of the uh, chromed out <laughs> truck. And you can see that is definitely not corn that's coming out right now. It's turning it into something else. It's turning it into more of like a raw mash type thing that we can use when doing pig food. Okay, so we had 31,000 liters in there and we used roughly 400 liters of Lupercil. All right, let's hop in here. 43,200 liters of CCM raw. Well, how did that happen? Well, because without the Lupercil, we still get 1.2 times what we put in if we use this converter. However, if we use the Lupercil, we get 1.44 times the amount that we put in there. Okay, well, what do we do now? Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this over and take it into a bunker silo. 
There's a couple things I, I, I've tried to get these close to each other and I did mess up a few things. I'm so sorry. Uh, that's what you get when you use a bunch of PC mods all at once. Some, sometimes things don't happen the, the correct way. But what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to show you this over here. So what I need to do is I need to jump in here. This is the more bunker silo mod now. Now with the more bunker silo mod, what this does is it allows you to do CCM and grass silage also. With grass silage, you don't need to do anything. However, in order to do CCM, which is going to be your pig food, we've got to change a few things. The first thing we need to do is I actually need to jump out of using a controller and I need to start jumping in. We need to start using mouse and keyboard. So we've got our keyboard and mouse hooked up and you can see that we have a change silo type. Now I already have stuff in here, but if I were to hit J, that's going to take this from a normal to CCM. So you can see it's changing that back and forth, which is interesting. <laughs> so if you don't want to make CCM, I think this is a, uh, a way to cheat just a little bit is you could just put chaff in here and then change the type over to CCM. Now, of course it is changing over the line a little bit on the right, but it's because I've got a couple different mods installed and tossed in here. So. What you want to do is before you do it, you want to change the type so we can change the type. Now I'm going to go back to using my ma or my uh, controller and now we're back with the controller. Now, unfortunately, or actually fortunately, yeah. Okay. It will change it. So you can still change back and forth CCM and all that good stuff. So let's just hop in here. So we've got this Phil Chef changed. Let's double check that. There we go. Fix that. And now let's dump. So. We've got this. From here, you just treat it like normal silage. That's it, that's all you gotta do. Treat it like normal silage. You're gonna dump it in the silo. You're gonna come back through. You're going to compact it. You do all that good stuff. And then once it's compacted, of course you have to sit and let it ferment, but that is easy to do. Now, the great thing is here, when we do this, that will be pig food once it's fermented. These I know look the same. However, they're going to be treated a little bit differently. This is grass and this is chaff. The grass can be used for feeding your sheep and your cows. However, the chaff just for the cows. Chaff is normal, nothing different out of the ordinary there. So I'm going to come through. I am going to take all of these guys. We're going to uh, slob them down, slob them down. You know what we're going to do. Now, all three silos are done. So we're going to go ahead and open these guys up. There's one. There's two. And there's three. We've got them all opened up. Let's jump in. What I've got right here is we actually have our uh, Class Torian 1914. This is one of the mods coming with the new Class DLC. So let's go in and let's see what we can do about getting some of this into the bucket. Most of it's going in. Go ahead and fill this bucket up. After a big old oopsie, I now have 32 liters in here, which is all I had left. Dump it in, double check the pigs, see what kind of food they've got. Great. And corn slash CCM, they have 31 liters. All right, it worked. <laughs> Here's the problem. Corn and CMC bo or CCM, both effectiveness 50%. Guess what? That whole thing, just, just, I don't want to be that guy. Just don't do it. It's cool. Yeah, oh yeah, it's different. It's legit the same. So unless you just want to get corn, but have more corn, that, that whole thing is just pointless. Now, right here, we have what's supposed to be grass silage. We've done silage with the grass. The unfortunate part is it's still showing just normal silage, so I'm not sure if that's something that I've done wrong, but supposedly this can be fed to the sheep. So we're going to come over here to the sheep and we're gonna see if they like silage. <laughs> They're not gonna eat this, are they? They're probably not. We're just gonna dump this all on the ground. But let's see what happens. Yeah. So maybe there's something I've done wrong. If you guys know what I've done wrong, let me know down in the comment section below. I'm sure you guys know exactly what I've done. But regardless, yeah, all in all, there's your Kenzie example meal and your more bunker silo. 
Not too bad. We do have an update for our PC and Mac friends. This is the POM Bronica Sigma Plus Pack. This right here, changelog 1.0.0.1. Improved textures, patch store icons, and improve the working depth. So, if you guys are using this, make sure you update. And lastly, today we have an update to Tuscan Lands. This is for all platforms. Changelog 1.0.0.1. Fixed problem to paint the land in game. Fixed barn trigger problem. And fix the stones. So the stones have been changed. Boom. There you go. There's your update for Tuscan Lands. Let me know if you're going to be playing on this map. It's a beautiful map. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you don't, please subscribe. If you have any questions about these mods or anything else, let me know down in the comment section below. And all that being said, hope you guys have a great day. We will see you later. Peace.